Inhaled insulin has actually been available for several years, but so many people don't know it exists and many people with type 1 diabetes think they can't use it. I've been using inhaled insulin since September of 2021, and I love it. The only inhaled insulin available on the market today is from Mankind, who makes a Frezza. It comes in cartridges this big, teeny tiny. This is just a plastic container, and the powder is right here. You simply take this cartridge, pop it in the inhaler, and that's how it works. Inhaled insulin is used for meals or corrections. It is ultra rapid, ultra fast. It is the fastest insulin available. You still need your background or basal insulin via injection or pump while using inhaled insulin. Inhaled insulin is completely different than rapid acting injected insulin. Injected rapid acting insulin takes forever to get going. It doesn't start even getting into your bloodstream until like 15 minutes after you dose it doesn't affect your blood sugar until at least 30 minutes and it doesn't peak until an hour. Inhaled insulin starts affecting your blood sugar within minutes. You see the impact on your glucometer or your CGM within 15 minutes and it peaks at 30 minutes. After an hour, the smaller doses of inhaled insulin are nearly out of your system. So it's in really fast and it's out really fast. That's what makes it so different. I've lived with type 1 diabetes for 25 years. Before using inhaled insulin, my A1C was in the high fives, low sixes with a lot of work, right? But definitely more low blood sugars. Now that I use inhaled insulin, I maintain that same A1C, but with fewer lows. One of the reasons many people with diabetes and their doctors think they can't use inhaled insulin is because of how it's dosed. It's completely different than injected rapid acting insulin. You can't think of the dosages as the same because it works so differently in your body. It comes in three doses. Four units are in blue, eight units are in green, and 12 units, which I don't happen to have, come in yellow. So that freaks a lot of people out if you have type one diabetes because you hear that the smallest dose is four units. What if you're eating a low carb salad? I actually am very sensitive to insulin. So if I can make inhaled insulin work for me, it can work for just about anybody, regardless of how sensitive you are to insulin. You just have to learn how to dose it because it is a whole different game. I personally still take really teeny doses of rapid acting injected insulin when the Afreza dose is too large for what I need. When I need a tiny dose and I need it to kind of last a couple hours. Many people do find that when they first start taking Afreza, they're more sensitive to it during that first month or two. And I found that to be true as well. Once you get past that initial hypersensitivity to inhaled insulin, I find personally that a four unit cartridge is more like one unit of injected rapid acting insulin. A really cool thing about a Frezza is that you don't have to count your carbs as meticulously. With injected rapid acting insulin, you've gotta like get really close to that carb count. Like it better be really accurate. With a Frezza, it's more like you're throwing a blanket on top of the meal. And it's like, all right, you know what? We're still a little chilly. We need another blanket. So you throw another blanket on top when you see your blood sugar starting to rise a little bit. You don't have to be so exact. It's like this big blanket over your meal instead of like a hammer trying to hit a nail. I like to think of the doses of a Frezza as small, medium, and large. I personally don't use the 12s, but there have been many times where I take a four and an eight or two eights if I'm eating a really high carb meal. I know it's out of my system after about two hours, and then I'll take another two eights for the rest of the digestion of that really high carb meal. One thing you do have to think about because of how quickly inhaled insulin is out of your system is the rest of the digestion for your meal. We call that a follow-up dose. If I ate an apple and peanut butter at noon, I take my initial dose of eight units of Frezza, for that apple and peanut butter. And then probably at one o'clock, I might take a follow-up dose of another eight. Or if I know I'm gonna walk my dog at one o'clock, I'd walk my dog first, take my follow-up dose, maybe halfway through the walk or at the end of the walk. It's so fast that I don't have to worry as much about staying on top of that digested food. I know I can tackle it so quickly because a Frezza is so fast. As someone who exercises many times a day, I walk my dog, I go for a run, I lift weights. I also really appreciate 
how quickly a Frezza is out of my system because I don't have to worry about insulin on board for hours after every meal. So my risk of low blood sugars is actually significantly lower. I have significantly fewer lows because I use inhaled insulin for most of my rapid acting insulin needs instead of injected insulin. Because of a Frezza, I just have so much more flexibility in how often and how long and when I exercise. A Frezza is also so fast, you don't have to pre-bolus and actually you really shouldn't pre-bolus in most cases. A Frezza's speed means I can turn around rising blood sugars really quickly. So if I underdosed for a meal and I look at my CGM and I see, hey, I didn't get enough insulin, I can hit that so fast and I don't need to rage bolus. I don't have that urge to overdose my insulin because I know a Frezza will turn that rising blood sugar around so quickly. The first time I tried a Frezza, I did have a really bad low. By really bad, I mean I was sweating and I was pissed off. Frankly, I just didn't know what I was doing and I dosed it wrong. I was trying to correct a high and the Novolog was taking too long, so I took a dose of a Frezza and I overlapped the Frezza with the Novolog and I went straight down. Once you learn how to dose a Frezza and you learn the timing, my risk of lows is significantly lower, but also the experience of lows is significantly less dramatic. For example, I know that if my blood sugar is 90 with a slanted down arrow and it's been one hour since I took my Frezza dose, I don't really need to worry about going low because that insulin is about to clear my system. So the lows are less dramatic, the lows are less scary, and you just know like, all right, this is gonna be over soon because this insulin clears my system so quickly. I spend a lot less time feeding my insulin in order to prevent lows because I'm on a Frezza. A Frezza corrects my high blood sugars really fast. I can take a correction for a high blood sugar of 250 and be down at 100 within an hour and not crash. If I'm correcting a blood sugar of 300 and I take an eight, it'll take hour and a half, maybe two hours to get it down. And then I don't have to worry about crashing and I still corrected my blood sugar really quickly. One of the reasons it's so fast is that it's going into your lungs and your lungs are absorbing it so much more quickly than the insulin can be absorbed in your fatty tissue when you take an injection or deliver insulin with a pump. Everybody always asks, does it taste funny? Do you cough a lot? No, it doesn't have any taste, it doesn't have a smell. Most people do report having a cough the first few months. I did a little bit. Some of that cough is from just not knowing how to like open your airway when you take an inhalation. They have studied it like crazy and no, the only people in the study who developed lung cancer we're smokers. It has been FDA approved for its safety. It does not cause lung cancer. Oh, did I forget to mention that I love not having to take a million injections every day? That's pretty great. I also feel safer going to bed at night because I know the Afrezza I took for my dessert for the last meal I ate before bed isn't gonna be lingering for six hours in my bloodstream or causing a low blood sugar at 3 a.m. I just feel generally safer. I have significantly fewer lows at night since starting a Frezza. Many people do find that when you start using a Frezza for your primary rapid acting mealtime coverage, you might need a slight boost in your background insulin dose because you don't have all the Novolog hanging out all the time. The only time it's really uncomfortable to take a Frezza is when I've been sick with something else that affects my throat, like COVID, just a really bad sore throat. I had strep throat. So I used less a Frezza during that time and more Novolog. Getting a Frezza starts with your doctor going through this very specific prior authorization paperwork process. Mankind's customer service people are so helpful. Give them a call, let them guide you and support you through that. Their customer service is awesome. I really like a Frezza. In fact, I love it. Actually, let's be honest. I'm a huge fan. I'm so grateful it exists because it's given me so much more flexibility as someone who prefers multiple daily injections over an insulin pump. It feels more carefree. After 25 years with this disease, 
it was like a whole new game. It was like it changed the game that I've been playing every day, all day for, you know, so many years. So it was kind of refreshing to learn a new way of managing my blood sugar. Learn more about inhaled insulin at my website, gingerviera.com slash diabetes. You'll find a whole section of articles all about inhaled insulin. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, Diabetes Nerd. Find my books on Amazon.